new people, um, not seen the new fel well, fellas, uh, the actors as yet. Um, Have they done there? more than one? I think they just did one round so far, is uh -huh. that right? Yeah. yeah, so they haven't put out the new list yet. Uh, just well, today. Yeah, the new list was posted this morning, so there's okay. eight new guys to choose yeah. from. All right. So do you have, do you know if uh, Tom Brittany is on her list? He? No, I, I don't have him on the list, no. Hmm. You should but put I him have, on. Well, I'll look him up. I'm going to write his name down because I've got a third round to go, and maybe I will put him on there and place yes. someone else. Do, you, do you, know who he, you know who he is? I don't know who he is. He's the no. in, in Grandchester. He's the current. Oh, right. I know who he is now. Yeah. Yeah. What is Grandchester? I don't think I've ever heard of that. I don't know. Oh, oh, it's so good. It's on PBS. It's on PBS. Yeah. And it's it's a British story, of course. Oh yeah, it's um it's it's not a priest, it's sort of like Church of England. Yeah, yeah. And he he's gets a in, he, yeah, he's a vicar and he gets involved with uh, the detective um, sorting out crime, you know, sorting out crimes and I think that Okay. So, so when you went when uh, they re changed the vicars, did you think it was going to be as good as it is? To be honest, I sort of caught on really late on in the game because I've only just started watching it. But I know who you mean now, um, because James, James, I've seen yeah. pictures of him. Yeah, I know James sort of like James Darton. Yeah, yeah. Is he yeah. on the list, Jeanette? <laughs> James I'm Norton. Note. I'm making notes. I don't know that name either. We I might have to do a fourth one. I might. <laughs> and why not? Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. He, he played the, the so he played the vicar for the, like the first three or four seasons, and now Tom Brittany is the vicar. But they didn't. They it's the same job. You know, they're at the same church and everything. And but they didn't like make them be the same person and just change actors. Do you mm -hmm. see what okay. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he was also in War and Peace as well. He's quite good in that. Yeah, he's also in, I so saw he's in something more recent even than that. I can't remember what it was. <coughs> so, Susan, I have oh, a question okay, well. for you. What is What's the that? climate like in England with um, with this okay. business? Um, with As it pertains to Sanditon, like what is it? Are people oh, right. as livid as um, <laughs> people over here? Oh my God, the Twitter, everything was so great on the Thursday. And then right. come the Friday, I um, I went from home. So I didn't check Twitter until after five, uh, five o'clock after I finished. And oh my God, everybody was traumatized. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I couldn't, be, yeah. I couldn't believe it. Because I don't know how you feel, uh, you know, how anybody else feels. Um, what about like recasting, or do you feel that they just need new characters? I think they need a new character. I'm, I'm all for a new yeah. character. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Because and then, if they do that, you know, they could leave the door open if oh, Theo right. decides in two years or whatever that he's willing to at least make an appearance, they could bring him back. If they change yeah. actors, they can't. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But yeah. also, I mean. I don't think there is. Sydney Parker is Theo James to me. Like he yeah, had, yeah. he did so well with that character, and he made us love that character so much that there, I don't think there could be another Sydney Parker. Right. I so, agree. I mean, recasting, we would just always be comparing them. Yep. To Theo, yeah. whereas this one, we can just fall in love with someone new and not feel bad about it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I just remember that uh, um, when I watched the last episode, and I was trying training for a new job um i found out that the, the ending of the uh, episode i i just could not believe it i was traumatized at work the next day when everybody asked me um how was your weekend and i just went once you done about the program about how it ended <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I when i watched it i had no i mean like i hadn't heard anything about it other than some of my i had watched bridgerton first and a bunch of those people yeah. had led me to sanderton so I didn't have any idea about the ending, and I was like absolutely devastated. I yeah, knew, I just knew that a season two was coming right up, and then we had to wait for that, and then so it's been a, an emotional roller coaster, definitely. 
Yeah. yeah. For me, it was a, I didn't know because I watched it live as it went on. And then <laughs> episode eight happened. I was like, all right, next episode. And then I went to click on the next one and I almost cried. <laughs> I was so horrified. <laughs> So what are we oh thinking for? What are we thinking for the next season? What are what are we thinking is going to happen? It, um, I think it's most probably going to be about two or three years in advance. You know, because Gardiana, mm. um, she's so, she's when the program ended, it was going to be like she had two more years of um, Sydney being a guardian. Yep. I so I think it's going to be a couple more years in the future. That makes sense. And then, like, I'm wondering if they're going to what storyline they're going to give Georgiana. And that's one person who I've been trying to kind of theorize over what kind of storyline she'd have, and I can't. Do you guys have any plans for what you'd like George to see with Georgiana? No. Um, I, I think most probably Arthur's going to be more integral to a storyline. It's going to be. You know, the fun guy to help her out and help her guide her. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That'd be good. I like her friendship a lot. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. And for those of you on YouTube who are watching with us, type in your chats of whatever, or not chats, type in your comments to uh, what we're asking here, or comments to what you're hearing from the other, other people calling into the podcast. We'd like to hear from you guys too. Sorry, I'm eating on camera. You guys can't see me on Podbean, um, but they can see me on YouTube. <laughs> well, if you if you need to eat, you need to eat. <laughs> exactly. Everybody eats. And we just did that interview with Ollie Blackburn. And one of the scenes that yeah. we talked about was the luncheon scene. So they eat openly yeah. on Santa Tim. It's fine. It's right in theme. <laughs> is there speaking of interviews, is there someone that you guys would really like? To hear talk about Sanditon? Um, I think a couple of moments. <laughs> There's one that's coming up in two weeks that I'm really excited about. You would love me to get Justin Young, Marion. That's a good one. I I would like to talk with him. Marion also says she'd like to see Otis come back in the picture. See, I'm not sure about that. I don't know, because he did, I think he did her wrong in the first one. I don't know if he can redeem himself. But Janice was telling me about, um, I don't know if you're still on Janice. I don't hear you, but I, I see you. But she was telling me that there's a deleted scene where Otis goes into the Navy. And he yes, leaves to is. better himself. Yeah. I have not seen that. I think it's on the um, Red Planet um, website. Really? I have because, to look at that. Um, in... I think it was in May or June of last year. They were uh, releasing um, releasing different clips. Yeah, I think it was either one a week or one every day over a week. Mm -hmm. um, and one of them was uh, regarding his letter and um, that he was, you know, in the navy or uh, going into the navy. I'm pretty sure I saw the other ones. But now this makes me think that maybe I didn't. Because I saw the one with Sydney and Eliza walking through town. Yeah. I saw the beginning with Charlotte when she's in the her field. I saw, the obviously, the kiss. Yeah. I feel like there's others that I saw. but I, Oh, the crow and uh, Clara one. Yeah. Yeah. That's a storyline I want to know more about. And it, it, it's because there's been... Uh, talk because nobody has said whether um, Abington's coming back, Esther or Crow is coming back. They are or are not? Uh, not that, no, nobody's mentioned that oh. they are coming back. At yeah. This yeah. Sarah says that um, she asked if that by Georgiana looking at Otis's picture that she forgave him. I think she did forgive him when it right after it happened, but I, I don't know. I just feel like. Of course, Sydney did Charlotte wrong too. So I mean, it's the same level, I guess. But just, I, I feel like Otis didn't, he didn't apologize or ask for forgiveness until after he had been caught. So yeah. I, I feel like that's my thing with him. Um, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I don't right. know what happened. I kind of lost lost things, and I am not getting this link on Facebook for YouTube to work. Yeah, let me try again. Just check. 
my YouTube on me. No, it's not on me TV. Oh, it's not refreshing on my TV. Okay, that might be the old one. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I just brought the old one. It's very possible. <laughs> there have been. I we just did a. We have another group because. I don't know if you guys have ever wondered why it's called Stanton Chronicles, Stanton Family Fan Club, but we run. Oh, it's Sam. Um, did, did it work? Yeah, okay. Spot, it was the wrong link. Yeah. Sorry, that's my bad. Um, <laughs> but we just did another. Um, we, we run 11 groups on Facebook and we're all under the Family Fan Club. And so we just did a yeah. podcast episode right before we jumped on this live. So it's. I'm all uh, over the place. <laughs> So you have different pages then for different YouTube pages for different groups. Mm -hmm. No, we have one. We have one for the Santa Ana Chronicles, which is where I'm running this from, and then yeah. we have um, one for our family fan club, which is all eleven groups. Ah, right. Okay. Okay. I can see someone's typing in the chat, but Jeanette, can you maybe read those? Um, yeah. Sorry. Let's see. Yeah. Um the Fred Q, uh, they were asking about the letter from Otis saying he's going to the Navy without a cut scene. And that was correct. I haven't seen it, but that's what you all were saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Yeah. And I haven't been able to find it the last few times I looked for it. No. I, mean, I looked extensively. Yeah. yeah. It's really just her receiving this note and opening it and reading it. And that he, that's what he said. He was going in the Navy and he was going to redeem it, redeem himself, or something to that effect, and that he, um, that he really loves her, and will be back. Oh, it even said he loved her, and he was going to. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe my mind has changed a little bit on him then. <laughs> I think he's trying to do right for it by her, you know. But do you think he would have had he not been found out? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think his view of what he was do saying, and. And everyone else's were not the same. And I, he was just trying to delay the guy that he owed money to. And he made a big mistake. But he didn't intentionally put her in harm's way, as Charlotte said. I mean, that's and true. He, yeah. And you know the uh, person that tried to uh, marry Georgiana? I can't remember the actor's name, but he, he's so good. Um, he's E. Quinbach. Um, uh, I don't, Mr. It hasn't Howard. Been announced one way or the other. It hasn't right. been announced. Yeah. Yeah, that's Mr. Howard, right? That's his name. Yeah. Well, that would make it very interesting. A bit more, maybe a bit more darker. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, absolutely. I, you know, yeah, you're talking about the guy who played Jack Brady or uh, Howard. Yeah, his name is Jack Brady, and he's on oh, Facebook. Right. And I know yeah. that if they offer him the part, he'll, he'll take it. Come back. <laughs> Yeah, oh, he yeah, would love yeah. to. Yeah, he's participated in some, you know, like putting things on Instagram and that kind of thing. Yeah, he's been oh, awesome. Yeah, I've seen him on Twitter. There is, I did read a fan fiction where um, <clears throat> it was, they had run into Mr. Howard, but it was, it had to do with Sydney. So, I mean, that would change. But the fan fiction was like, basically, Sydney was the one who rescued her and he was in his gentleman's pub. Mr. Howard was right there too. And then he vowed to get revenge and take Georgiana. So he went and tracked Georgiana down to get revenge. But I don't know if that is even a possibility now. Not the same way anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Are there no, I'm not, I, I'm trying to put this link in on my computer and it's not working. Let me try my, I'm trying to see you. I like it better <laughs> when I can see you. <laughs> I was kind of hoping the pod could have hours or uh, video. Marianne said, Mr. Howard, who's Jack Brady, interacts with them on Twitter. Now, Marianne, you are involved in the Sandicon, is that correct? I put my trust in Marianne, so she's putting her trust in Justin Young. Me too. Absolutely. Uh, and so who, who participates in Sandicon? I think Marianne. Yes, she just said yes. Marianne Stump. She's in our, she just joined our Facebook group yesterday, but I've, I've had her on Twitter for a while. <clears throat> oh, I'm excited. I, I hope I get to go. I wish they would put out the cast list too. I wonder when they're going to do that because I've obviously we know that they put out the, here's your seasons two and three present before they hit us with Theo James. <laughs> so, I mean, that was very strategic and now I'm, I'm almost nervous for the cast list to come out now because I'm thinking what bomb are they going to hit us with at this time? 
so so um you did see did you see the post on twitter yesterday for i think it was twitter from the uh, saturn sisterhood that sort of listed up a, a it had a picture of a bunch of the people and it listed the ones that they knew already did you see that i didn't know it includes actually i'm keeping a list you you, you know this about me right? <laughs> I, by the way i did reach <laughs> out to paula jeanette before janice before you go on i did reach out to paula to ask if there's like a website Paula Byrne, I asked her if there was a website that I could watch to keep up with current cast coming out. She said she didn't know there was a website. And so I asked if we should just rely on Sanderson Sisterhood. And she said that's where we should go to and watch for their announcement. So they do have an end yeah. because I was leery about that at first because it wasn't, they had come out with some, but it hadn't been announced by Masterpiece and it hadn't been announced by Sanderson. So I wasn't sure. But she said that they yeah, should have think, a comprehensive list. Yeah. Well, this is who I have so far Rose, Chris Marshall. Yep. Kate yes. Ashfield, Crystal Clark, Anne Reed, I'm so uh, for Jack her. Fox, Turlo Convery, uh, Lily. Ooh. How do you say your last name? Ah. Sarkovsky. Yeah. yeah, which I was happy to see that because I hadn't yes. seen it anywhere else. And Sophie Hink Winkleman. I knew she'd be back. Uh, yeah. Well, I, know, I can't honestly say that Sophie was listed on the. I think she was listed there, but anyway, I think she's coming back from everything else that's been said. Yeah, there's a, a morning program uh, in the UK that she was on um, mm -hmm. a, a couple of months ago, and she sort of hinted because uh, the presenter, she was a big fan of Sanderton, and she was asking her about it, and she couldn't say anything, but she sort of hinted. Yeah, I remember that was a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the host said, "And you'll be in Sanditon." Mm -hmm. I can't talk yeah. about that. <laughs> She's very cheeky. It <laughs> she, sounds like it. <laughs> she has a following that way, huh? She is yeah. one who I reached out to and um to do an interview, and she had she got she said she would be willing to do an interview with us. But then they started filming, so now I can't go right through the actors and their agents anymore. So now I'm not sure if I'll be able to get um, a lot of interviews before the filming is done. Yeah, probably you won't. So they have started, or you mean it's so close? No, I mean because they've announced it, so they know it's coming. So I imagine that they won't do any interviews or promotions until after they've completed filming, right? To promote the show is that's my guess because they had. Um, Someone who's uh, producing, who's with a production company for Sanderson, reached out to me and asked me to go through her for all interviews, and I, I so I assume that's why. Yeah, yeah. I, do, do you think? Right. Do you think Kester and Babbitton will be there if Edward? I will be so Barry. sad if they don't. Yeah. Because Esther, honestly, I think I I love Rose Williams, and I love Charlotte, but Esther is my girl. <laughs> I love right Esther. I love. There's not one thing I don't love about Esther. Yeah. <clears throat> and I mean, Babington is amazing. Yeah. I feel like Mark Stanley. When I had reached out to his agent, they said he wasn't interested in talking. But that could just be because I'm a fan doing a podcast, or it could be because you know, there's there's many different reasons it could be. But he was one who wasn't interested in on talking. So I don't know if he'll be back or not. They could still bring Esther back without Babington, though. They just wouldn't show him in their married life. Yeah. I mean, which would make me sad, but I, if I could have Esther back, I'll take it. I, I like um, our character changed over the mm -hmm. eight programs. It was so good. Um, eight, um, you know, programs. It was really good. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love that her character, her period. Have you watched the interviews with? Uh, on you that are available on YouTube between her, between Charlotte Spencer, um, on her, especially the one with her and Jack, uh, Jack, yeah, Jack Fox. Yeah. I did see that as a matter of fact. I love that interview. That's the one I posted, right? I don't remember. Maybe you did. Yeah. Maybe you did. Well, there was, you did the one where he's all, all by himself and uh, an interview he did. Talking about opium dens at the time <laughs> and all that. But. Yeah, I think I did the one of him and Charlotte Spencer, and I did the one of him and Rose.
but the one for okay. him and Rose was for Rose Week. And the and there's one of him and Rose and uh, Leo Suter. Oh, I haven't seen that one. That's another thing with Leo Suter. I was I keep checking his Instagram because he's one who's been fairly quiet since the announcement was made. And the day right. the announcement was made, or the day after, the only thing he posted was people tell me I should post more, and it was just a picture of himself. And that was it. So I <laughs> yeah. feel like yeah, well, so there's been he had two Instagram pictures, but I think he was on his way to Ireland. To that's what that's what I was going to bring up. Well, Valhalla. It said bye bye England. Hello, Ireland is what it said. And I was like, oh, no. But yeah, maybe he'll be next. It's hard. You know, he's already obviously committed to Valhalla. Yeah. Sarah says she'd have her doubts on Leo coming back. I do, too. I think that and honestly, I wouldn't be that sad. I just like Leo Suter as an actor. So I would like him to come back because I think he's a fun character. But for me, his story was concluded. So I'm OK if he doesn't yeah. come back because, I mean, they said he said in the season eight or episode eight, they said, well, as soon as Sanditon's completed, I will go and take my apprenticeship. So we already know what the what the arc of his story is. So I'm okay if he doesn't come. I mean, it would make me sad because I like him, but I, I'm okay if he doesn't. Yet another reason for two years to have gone by before yep. they took his story up. Um, Marianne, they didn't. Alex hasn't. Alex hasn't said one way or another, but I assume that they are trying to get her. She might just be in smaller shots because she is she is due with her baby soon. Janice, can I ask you? Do you have your YouTube up? I'm trying to get it up. I'm having, um, I, I'm, I know I do not have it up yet. So okay. I'm trying. I just, I have um, <laughs> my screen up, but I don't have the chat going. I can't get the chat going. So I can't see what anyone's saying. If they're saying anything. Okay. Let me, um, give me another, oh, I'm trying I, another approach. I got it. I think. I Good. Jeanette, are you still on? Uh, oh, she's there. muted. There she is. <laughs> With noise, so I'm muted myself. Oh, I was just going to ask what your thoughts were about what we were talking about. Oh, I don't know. See, I don't know everybody's names like you all do, so I'm over here trying to follow who they are. Like I know character names, not these actors' names. So, <laughs> so oh, I was going to give you the characters. <laughs> Alex is um, Alex is Diana Parker. Okay, she's pregnant right now, and she's I I don't remember when she's due. Um, and then. Chris Marshall is Tom. Uh, Lily is plays Clara. Yeah. Mark okay. Stanley plays Babington. And I'm excited that Lily is coming back, that Clara is coming back because I feel like her and Edward are not done yet. And I think there's yeah, going like to be something there. I'd like to see more of them. Definitely. I mean, I know they're the villains in our story or whatever, but I, I enjoyed them both. So I would definitely love to see more of them. Yeah. Do you, do you think that, the, that she was pregnant at the, at oh. the, um, oh. the season one. I just I, like to throw it out there because, um, because of, there's been some storylines, you know, in the fan fiction where uh, she has been uh, pregnant. I mean, if I'm being honest, I didn't before, but I kind of do now. <laughs> I mean, that I would be that would be fun. I'd like that, I think. Yeah, definitely. I think yeah. a fun storyline. And uh, especially with them both coming back. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, no, you're fine. Oh. The Zoom meetings. Okay. Um, especially with them both coming back, you see. So that's what I thought. Yeah. And I wonder yeah, if... Make... Go ahead, Jeanette. No, I'm just going to say that would make sense. Because, I mean, that would sort of give them or, you know, give her a reason to come back. So I, I think that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Sarah says she she too thinks is excited about Lily. What, Janice? Um, who uh, it would give who is a uh, reason to come back? I'm sorry, I missed that. Clara. Oh, okay, to come back you. to Sanderson. Yeah. I wonder if she's pregnant. I wonder if she is. How I, I wonder if she would try to seek um, comfort and asylum from Lady Denim, but I don't think Lady Denim would do that. So I wonder. I wonder how that would play out. Because you got to know Lady Denim's not done with her yet either, especially if Annie Reed's coming back. I love her. I love her too. <laughs> well, so I, hey, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor, Maureen. For yeah, what's some up? reason, I am not being able to pull up this link to YouTube. Can you send me a either yep. an email or a? Uh, I will Facebook right now. Message? Yep. Annie Reed right. is queen, Sarah. One hundred percent. 
And yeah, I think she's a great British actor, yes. actress. <laughs> she was in um she was in a West End production with Crystal Clark. All right. Really? Yeah. That was one thing that I found as I was doing my research. You know, I have to um I have to correct something I said. That the the YouTube video that I was thinking in that Leo that I was am thinking of the interview with Leo Souter and Rose. It was not Jack. It was uh, Chris Marshall was in on that. I don't know what you're talking about. The the YouTube interview of those three. Oh, I oh. It was Jack, but it's not Jack. It's, I got you. I'm just correcting it. That's all. I think too that there's a something to that deleted scene with Clara and Crow, but yeah. obviously if Crow can't come, what's Crow's real name? Anybody know? Uh, Mark Needham. Yes, that's Mark, the name. Isn't it Mark Needham? And I don't suppose there's been any yes or no from him, is there? I have seen nothing on him. No, I haven't seen anything on Twitter either. But that could be why they cut that scene too. Maybe they thought it wouldn't work. I think they just I, ran out of time. I mean, I hope I so. I thought it was a very interesting, uh, uh, very interesting uh, scene. Seeing which crow, um, uh, the crow and Clara at the end because that would have been at the end of episode six, yes. Um, that same, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was because that's when, she... um, yeah, that's episode she... six, episode seven. seven, sorry, yep, yes, yeah, seven because eight was the yeah. it was the dance, yeah. I guess I'm going to have to give up on YouTube because I, I used your link and I get a message saying live streaming isn't available right now. That's uh, bizarre. It does say that there's four weird. people on, on the YouTube, but no one is commenting. So I'm not sure. I don't know. We're having yeah. a lot of technical difficulties today. Okay. So okay, Sarah, say, yeah. Sarah said Ollie Blackburn kept saying that they filmed so much that they did run out of time to show everything. He said that during Q and a, yeah, he said that when I interviewed him too, cause I asked him about that. And they, I, I suppose that they would overshoot a lot of things because yeah. you don't really know how much you're going to combine in there. But I think it would be a good excuse for them to uh, to cut that to cut that. Marianne, yeah. is Matt Needham? Is he on Twitter? Like, is he active on Twitter? <clears throat> He's one who I haven't um, seen. Hey, okay, I have his Twitter address. I saw it just the other day. It's at Mister Matt Needham. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> so who is who is everybody's favorite character so far that's coming of the ones who are coming back? Who's your favorite character? Rose. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to say Rose as well. Marianne said Lady Susan. I might agree with that. Although I, yeah. I really do I don't want to love Edward, but I love Jack Fox so much that it <laughs> might <Yeah>. be Edward. <laughs> I'm with you there. <laughs> There's also, I mean, Chris Marshall did a fantastic job with Tom. Yes, he did. Oh, my God. Yeah, I used to work in insurance, and I said, you've got to buy insurance. Why didn't you buy insurance? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> I know. Well, you can see how shocked Sydney was that he didn't have it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was weird for me because I know Chris Marshall from Love Actually. Yeah, I do too. Uh, and he plays a very different character in this. I remember you told me that, Maureen, and I, I mean, I didn't even realize that that was him until you said that. And yeah. Like, oh yeah. my goodness. Like, I would have never put it together, so honestly. Do you remember where his yeah. character goes in that movie? <laughs> no. He goes to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin's yeah. where I'm from. I live in Wisconsin. <laughs> so you're paying attention. Yes. Anytime Wisconsin is mentioned in a film, I'm like, ooh, I live there. He was in a great um, British comedy called Family. Um, oh. Yeah. Um, if you're able to get that on BritBox in America, oh. it's well worth watching. It's, it's really funny. What is it called? Oh, what's it, go. co what's it called? Family. Family. Just family. Yeah. Yeah. F-A-M-A-L-I-L-Y. Let me see if I can spell. <laughs> can you spell? I'll look for it. I have BritBox. I'll look for it. Oh, we can get it yeah. here. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Mary Ann says Chris Marshall, Chris Marshall's wife is very active with 
them on Instagram. Now, there was some controversy about that, wasn't there? Wasn't there a fake account for his wife? Yeah. So are we sure that's her? It was Chris Chris Mash of... Oh, yeah. Oh, it was his fake account. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, on Twitter. Okay. Sarah said her favorite characters coming back are Arthur and Charlotte. Oh, how did I forget Arthur? He's one of my favorite people. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. I love. I you know, just, what I think is uh, so. Have how many of you have seen the the episodes that Rose was in for um, the Medici's? I have not seen I the Medici's yet. Watched that. I've seen Rain, but I haven't seen Medici yet. Yeah, I just well, Medici, the Medici uh, Medici's is way better than Rain, and she she I mean for all kinds of reasons, but. And she's only in like four episodes in the third season, but I'm telling you, she is really good, and it is a completely different part. I think everything um, Rose Williams has done, I've really been impressed with her. Yeah, because yeah. even Rain, like you know, Maureen and that, we both talked about it. You know, after the second season, I didn't really like it too much. Um, but Claude was probably one of my favorite characters. Like I just love. I I, I agree. Yep, I agree. I haven't made it all the way through Rain yet. I still haven't. That's it's fine, hard for fine, me because it's like, historically like, accurate. It. Inaccurate, I mean. Yeah. Oh, very inaccurate. I don't yeah. it. It's not Netflix yeah. in the UK anymore. So um, I, I, can't, I, I was going to start watching it again because I got to maybe episode two. Um, um, <laughs> I just thought to myself, no. <laughs> but then I thought, no, no. Go through. Um, I think and then it's disappeared. It's not on Netflix anymore. Oh, so <laughs> I really enjoyed the first season, and maybe halfway through the second season, and then it just starts to really go downhill. Yeah, I would agree yeah. with that. And I think um, Sarah asked if Rain was Rose's first big acting job. It was because it was her most long-standing. She had a bit role. I had I looked it up while everyone else was talking. <laughs> she was she played young Vinny with young Queen Victoria in A Quiet Passion. But and she had oh, yeah. bit roles before that, but then Rain was her was her big one. On YouTube, Amy said a magical place. Which which place? Is that Sanditon or is it YouTube or is it Rain? <clears throat> and Gina was asking how to call in. You gotta you have to call in and actually talk with us. You have to be on the Podbean Podbean link. I'm trying to sound like you, Susan, because I love your accent. <laughs> Unintentionally trying to speak like you, but I'm trying to speak like you. <laughs> I'm from Manchester. <laughs> Ooh, you know, I went to yeah. London. It was I was in college, and a friend of mine. Ah. I, see, the reason I got into Sanditon is because I'm a Jane Austen addict. I I I will oh, yeah. watch or read almost anything that is has to do with her. And so we were watching Sense and Sensibility in our dorm room, and we're like, we should ah. go to London. So that night, spur of the moment, we just bought tickets to London without any other plan or thought <laughs> at all. And we wow. ended up we ended up spending nine days there, and it was it was in January though, so it was Aww. really rainy. But it's oh my, my favorite God. place on it's earth. Either raining or cold. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. And then I had there was one point where my pants were wet all the way up to mid calf. Just didn't care because I was in London. And then we went on the um, the Jack the Ripper walk. And at the time, oh I was God. living in Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and our our um, our tour guide used to live where I lived in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and it was just it was so fun. But okay. London. Hey, so, um, I was gonna. Oh, have you seen that series? I, I'm sorry, I just have to ask this question. I keep forgetting. Yeah. It. Um, have you seen that? I mean, the movie about the what is, is it called? The John A. Um, Jane Austen Book Club. I have. I was unimpressed with it. Mm-hmm. I, that yeah, that well, fell flat for me. It was. It was. I mean, I thought it was interesting that they actually got in the story. They got all the husbands or boyfriends involved in reading the books with them. I do like that. That's what, that part was quite interesting. Marianne okay, said she really good. liked it. Marianne Stumpf watched it. She said she really liked it. And Sarah said she studied Jane Austen in college, and that's when she fell in love with Jane Austen. Yeah. yeah. I've got to say, basically, I mean, I do love reading, um, but I'm more of a film or, pro, you know, a TV program person. Yeah. Right. So that's how I got into Jane Austen. What was your first film that you watched first? first? Oh. Um, it was 1995 Pride and Prejudice, and I very on video. Um, watched every Sunday. Um, after coming home from work, 
and then I got it on DVD, and now I got it on the hard drive, um, and then I got it on digital as well. So <laughs> I've got every version going. <laughs> That was yeah. a great one. I think I actually like, I do like the 2005 version of Pride and oh, Prejudice yeah. better. And my friend oh, yeah. Amy is on the YouTube chat and I don't know that she'll agree with me, but um, I just, <laughs> I like, I love Colin Firth. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I love yeah. him. I like him as Mr. Darcy, but I think Matthew McFadden played him better. Oh yeah. I love the yeah. music as well. The music yeah. Is so good. I do think all the actresses yeah. were too skinny for that time period though. <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't know. They did a lot of walking. <laughs> but still, women were generally heavier than that back then. Well, maybe, but yeah, I and I thought the thing I liked, one of the things I liked better about the film, what the 2005 one, was that the pace was much better. I yeah. thought the series was very slow. But I did appreciate that the series was almost word, word, word for word from the book, though. Right. I like yeah. that. I actually, I was talking about this with somebody else. I think with Paula Byrne, I was talking about this where um, there's that line where Mr. Darcy says, I'm sorry, my attention to you were so disgusting. And I fought, I'm like, no, there's no way he would say that. That is not, he would say grotesque or something like that. There's no way in the 2005 version. And I went back and she, Jane Austen wrote disgusting. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> it just yeah, didn't sound proper nice. enough. Hey, um, on the chat, somebody said Mrs. Bennett was way too annoying in the 95 for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, she I, was. Uh, yeah. She played her part well. But And you know who played the in the 2005 version who played Mrs. Bennett? Is, um, oh, yeah. The woman, Brenda Brenda. Yeah. Yeah. The, she does the, uh, what is that series she does that she's a detective? Oh, uh, Vera. She sings Vera. Yeah. Oh, she is incredible in that. Mm. So someone in the chat said, uh, I made my friends take me for 2005 Pride and Prejudice when I was pregnant. They were annoyed because they, I think she meant weren't Jane Austen fans, but Matthew McFadden changed their minds. Yeah, as you would most people. <laughs> if anybody could, that's it. Yep. <laughs> can, I, can I ask you? Uh, Absolutely, ask away. Controversial, uh, co controversially, maybe. Has anybody <laughs> watched Pride and Prejudice and Zombies? I, I own that movie. <laughs> I own the book yeah, too. I, loved it. Yeah. I haven't seen it. What is it called? Pride and Prejudice and what? Zombies. Zombies. <laughs> oh, oh, it's funny. Probably, you can't go into it thinking it's like legitimate. It. It's funny. Yeah, I haven't read it. My oh. husband actually has it. Does he? So, did he like it? Yeah, he did. He said it was really good, but I haven't actually read it yet. But I had my husband watch it with me for date night once, and I was like, "It's so funny!" And I kept laughing and like watching yeah. him to see if he would laugh. He didn't laugh like I did. <laughs> It it is funny. If you like Jane Austen, and that's why it's funny because ooh, there's an echo. Um, is because I know her original work. Yeah. So I mean that that's why it's funny because I know what it's supposed to be. Who is Seth Graham Smith? Is that who wrote Pride and Prejudice and Zombies? I don't know who who Rim D two is, but she asked that question. Oh, that's cool. Cool. All right, so let's bring it back to Sanditon. Yeah. <laughs> Although, <That's probably> right, <laughs> because I promise you, if you start talking about Jane, I will do it all day long. My daughter's name is Jane Elizabeth. Uh, but it's not because of her. It was just a happy accident for me. My husband doesn't believe me, but it was a happy accident. Um, so I think that with, with Edward's character, I think, I hope he's redeemed. I hope that there is something. I originally thought Clara would be the one to kind of save him. And he would be the one to kind of set Claire. Because I don't think Claire is actually a villain. I think that she, she is abused. And I think that she was desperate. And I think she did what she had to do to I make agree. it through things. Yeah. It was the times. Unfortunately. Oh, yeah. yeah. Character. Um, but with there being two seasons. Do you think Edward might be more of a villain in the second season and then redeeming himself in the third. I think so, because I mean, um, what's better than watching Jack Fox be a villain? <laughs> so I think they're going to draw that, that out. Yeah. Um, someone said Clara is a survivor. Exactly. Yeah. And you can kind of see that when she was talking to, um, when, whenever she talks to Esther, you can That's see that yeah. come through because she does mention it to, to, um, I keep wanting to call her Rose to Charlotte 
at the first ball when she talks to her about what she saw her and Edward doing. But I think that she was, I think that was more of an act. I think with Esther, every time she talked to Esther, she was being honest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sarah said that Jack is the bad boy. We love to hate. Oh no, I don't love to hate him. I love to love him. It's. <laughs> and then she also said, um, she agrees with Marianne that because Marianne said, I'm curious to see who will be the one with the money to actually save Sanderson. I think it's Lady Susan. Does anybody else think that? No, say that again. Who do you think she's Lady Susan's going to save? Sanditon. Oh, well, if, if um, Eliza's money paid for the rebuild, you know, they, it doesn't have to be saved anymore. But you would think that it depends on, I guess it depends on what they do with Sydney's character. Because if they kill him off, like some people are thinking, Eliza's not going to give any money to Sanditon. No, but I'm thinking that. It's two years later that it's already been, they got married. It's already been paid for. If he didn't die a year ago or a, two years ago, yeah. I mean, maybe they died. Yeah. In the, maybe they died in a carriage accident before they got married, so he wasn't saddled with her forever. <laughs> or maybe they moved. <laughs> or maybe they moved to America or something. No, I don't want. I don't want Sydney to suffer. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I don't like Sydney dying either, Sarah. <laughs> but yeah. it, for me, it's almost better to think that than thinking him staying. Because, I mean, that final scene with Eliza, when she walks up to him. I'm sorry, I have a cold, so I'm a little sniffly. But that final scene with Eliza when they're at the wedding and she walks up to him and Charlotte talking. A lot of people think uh, that I've talked to you about this. Well, she's just jealous of Charlotte. No, it's more than that. Because the way she looks up at Sydney and the way he doesn't speak and he's just instantly angry the moment she's at her side, I think it's more to do with the fact that he loves Charlotte. I think it's that it was Eliza saying, I'm your boss now. You do what I say yeah. and we'll do it my way. And I don't want Sydney to be saddled with that. Well, probably at the longest that would happen from the two year, the time it took to get managed and rebuilt. Yeah. And he wouldn't have to be like that. That's true. Um, someone said, why would Charlotte come back to Sanditon? Sydney needs to die. So Charlotte comes back unless Mary invites her back for helping Tom. Maybe Tom's in a bad way and needs her assistance again. Yeah. To run the place. Yeah, exactly. Um, there's a I lot of comments about you asked, you, you asked earlier about Georgia, Georgiana. I mean, yeah. Well, which by the way, you guys, the Georgiana in the 95 fight and prejudice was played by, Jack Fox, Fox's cousin. Oh, oh. Yeah, Amelia, Fox. Amelia Fox. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. just it. Um, but anyway, uh, maybe Georgiana and um, Rose, well, whatever, Charlotte, the two act uh, characters, stay really good friends and they decide to go to Sanderson and meet up. Maybe Georgiana decides to never leave. Or. Yeah, I got the because it's two years. She's got to be there for two years because that's where Sydney put her. Maybe Charlotte goes back to Sanditon to help her move or to like encourage her to go. And then she finds out Tom needs help. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what they make the in-between story. <laughs> hey, did you see that quote from um, Justin uh, Young in the, whatever, the last article that came out? In the, I haven't read that the article yet. Daily, the da Daily Telegraph. One of the things he said was that they got the green light two days before Bridgerton oh, was yeah. was um, whatever announced. Yeah, when it was released from yes, yeah, so they got the go ahead on the twenty third of December. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, they got the yeah. green light to go ahead with the project. Yeah, in December. Yeah. In December. Yeah. And somebody else said, and I don't know how accurate this is, that they were trying to get Theo James to come back up until April. Yeah. This year. That, I think that was Paula that said that. Or some, because it's somebody I follow. I think I, that's, where, that's where I heard it from. Um, someone yeah, said, uh, Georgiana hates Sanditon and Charlotte could visit her. And then they said, we saved Sanditon, not Bridgerton. That was Sarah. Marianne agreed that it was the 23rd. <laughs> And then um, Spread QI said it was the fandom that saved the show. That's that's true. Yeah, I mean, you, we all work yeah. pretty hard. Um, and then Fon 
Tame says it was validating. It was so validating to hear that. Yeah. And everyone you talk to, like everyone we've interviewed and everyone that we've talked to on Twitter or on any social media, they all say, you know, it was because of you guys. And it was. And I know that the Sanditon Sisterhood, who I, by the way, am not affiliated with, but I know that they led a really vigorous campaign and they have a, a lot of people who, who followed with them. And he, in that article, he gives them a lot of credit. Mm -hmm. Well, wasn't it one of the Sanditon sisters who wrote the article? I thought that's what the sisterhood put out. Or was in the article maybe. and it mentioned maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I think... Um, no, I'm not going to say because I'll get it mixed up. Marianne I, said one of the admins was quoted in that article. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, and I know that they were, I know that Paula said she had the scripts in February and Liam Hoops put out something in, oh, what, in April 9th? Was it when he put it out? And he said, big things are coming or something like that. And everyone freaked out, but he wouldn't comment. And then when it announced to Sandy Sand, he quoted that tweet. And he said, by the way, this is when I found out. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, it would be, uh, I, she probably has sworn to secrecy, but I'd love to know from Paula or Justin where they were going before Theo definitely yeah. said he wasn't coming back. I think that's probably something that they wouldn't be sworn to secrecy on because I mean, it changes the entire projected projection of the show. So, I mean, well, I, would... I think they knew from for a long time that, uh, that he was not wanting to come back and they kept hoping that they were going to convince him to come back, you know? Yeah. And so my guess is they might've written two parallel stories get started you know yeah that's true and i mean he did kind of say it at the end of season one that he he was satisfied with it and he did that with the divergent series too and i think whenever he says that that's indication of i'm done now so yeah there was one but there was one interview he did where he he had given an indication that he might go on with it but that was very very early yeah. after and it's been two years after. yeah he's stuck yes yes what, Susan? Sorry to, uh, sorry to interrupt. No, you're fine. Was that the PBS um, interview that they, no. uh, that he would have done? Uh, no, it was a one in writing I read just recently. Ooh. Uh, right. If I can remember where I saw it, I will let you know. But I don't I don't remember right this minute. I, I've been trying, yeah. I started trying to copy, these, save these articles, all these articles I'm reading, so I can keep straight where I read them, but I haven't, I don't know if I have that one. So uh, I want to bring up something they said in the chat real quick. Um, spread said, <laughs> spread QI said, it would be nice if they put the original storyline to print. I would buy that book. Absolutely. Yeah. They did a companion book with Sanditon. They could do that with this. I think that would be great. Um, Sarah yeah, said, yeah, absolutely. And Sarah said, all of Theo's projects are unfinished. I wouldn't say that. I think that, I think for us, Sanditon is very, very recent. And even like Jeanette said, she when by the time she got to watch it, it was already completed and it was already we already knew more was coming out. So I mean, it's new to a lot of people, but he has been out of this role for two years. So I mean it's it's a different thing for an actor, I think. And he's very he I watched an interview with him once where he said that um the one of the main re not one of the main, but one of the reasons he doesn't have social media is because to be an actor, people have to see you as that part that you're playing and he doesn't want his personal life to influence how they view him. And I think it's the same with yeah. a character. So, but Marianne also said one of the sisters in the fandom saw Theo outside London theater. And he told her that he never said he wouldn't come back. You're right. He never did, but he did say in an interview um, with PBS when they were promoting it, that he, and Rose Williams said it too, that they were satisfied with the ending, but they also might've known at that moment that it had been canceled already. He never said he well, wasn't coming always, back. He just said he was know. satisfied with they the ending. They did know because the um, ITV ran that series. Well, you you know better than I do. Um, yeah. When, when, when did they – they ran it in, like, I want to say November or, or October uh, or November um, of 2019? Uh, the, it was from the last weekend in August 2019 up until towards the mid – End of October. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah. And it was put against a BBC program called Peaky Blinders, which is a top rated program. Right. right. And the so they cancelled right after that. They were so upset uh -huh. with the reviews they got, too, because so many people 
a bunch of the Jane Austen people really, really put it down. Yeah. And they, you know, so ITV canceled it, like, I'm sure by November of 2019, you guys. I didn't yeah. even see it till February of 2020. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, it didn't it even go to the States till yeah. then. At the actually canceled it just before it came out in the States because I was actually watching um, the PBS uh, program that went with um, the review of uh, the program that reviewed the episodes, which was uh -huh. really good. Yeah, I was watching that on YouTube. Uh, oh, I'm so, Susan. Are. Can you repeat that one more time? I'm sorry, I was multitasking. Um, there was um, there was a program on uh, PBS where they were reviewing. I think it was PBS After Dark or something oh, like which, that. Yeah, it's I, I've I've seen a couple episodes of it. It's these two yeah. women, two or yeah. three women yeah. that actually work for a PBS station in Boston, I think, and, and they, they were reviewing yeah. it as each episode came along. Okay. On YouTube. It's on YouTube anyway. Yeah. I think too, like I read an article where the Jane Austen Society, they didn't necessarily put it down. I mean, to a Jane Austen fan, it did, but to the average person, it wasn't really a put down, but they had said, because they were, people were reaching out to them asking for what they think about this adaptation. And they had said pretty much flat out that this is not a Jane Austen story. So we are not commenting on it. And they're right because I mean, Jane Austen only took a, it's Jane Austen inspired but it's not a Jane Austen piece because she only wrote 12 chapters and Andrew Davies, I think Janice, you told me this, but Andrew Davies said she's only up until like the first half or the first ep right. half of the first episode. So right. it's really not, you can't go into this thinking, Oh, this is all solid Jane Austen because it's, it's Andrew Davies and Justin Young and the other writers. It's, it's really their story. More. I mean, Stringer wasn't even in Jane Austen's 12 chapters. He was completely created yeah. for the show. Right. And in addition to that, though, there were lots of people who were willing to comment very negatively about it. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you think, because, I mean, I've watched a lot of Andrew Davis's programs uh, that he's done, and one of my favorite, as well as Pride and Prejudice, was Sens Sensibility mm -hmm. and Northanger Abbey. He does, like, sex it up a bit. He does. It? Which I don't mind. I don't mind that type, <laughs> I don't mind that type of thing. Um, <laughs> but, I mean... It can be sort of like to a Jane Austen chorus, it could be sort of like against how they feel about Jane mm -hmm. Austen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But I'm just saying that was a factor in ITV canceling it. Yeah. Well, they just did not give it a chance. No. I, I got so annoyed. I, oh my gosh. Susan, were you able to watch it in, in regular syndication or did you watch it after ITV canceled? Um, oh no, I watched it as it was um, coming out. Um, so you're I like an original it, fan. I'm, yeah, I'm the original, <laughs> the original fan. But, I mean, as I said, when it, when the last episode and how it ended, I was like traumatized the next day at work. <laughs> I, I just yeah. couldn't, couldn't believe it. And they're saying, how, how was your weekend? And normally it's, well, back then, before COVID, um, I'd say, oh, I've gone out with my, um, my friends, gone out for a meal, you know, gone out with, you know, family and everything. Mm -hmm. And I was at it. I'm traumatised. I can't talk right now. <laughs> 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 Talking about the programme and the majority of the, my colleagues that were in the trading room uh, were fellas and obviously they don't understand that. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> so I know. Spread QI said... Um, we will never know what happened behind the scenes. However, I'm so proud of what the fans have accomplished. I agree completely. Oh, okay. I mean, we can, we can guesstimate. And that's what kind of bugged me about the reaction to Theo is people saying all these reasons why he, we don't know. We don't know why he did it. Yeah. We aren't him. We aren't in a situation. We don't, but I do know that there was a lot of ugliness directed at his wife. Yeah. And that was really, really that's uncalled for. Uncalled for. Well, either to either of them. I mean, you know, people yeah. have to live their own lives. None of us are in his shoes. Yeah. And I think too I'm that I'm just thankful that we're getting. As somebody said on here, spread QI said, "Thankful for the production writers, cast, yep. and crew are continuing yeah. the story for us." Mm -hmm. and I agree completely. And I do have total faith in the writers who are there because, I mean, first of all, Justin and Paula were there in the beginning. They are just as invested yep. in the show as we are. They love it just the same yep. way we do. We're gonna have a great story, and I do kind of like the idea that. Charlotte can now start over. And now, I mean, we only had eight yeah. seasons to love Sydney and look how passionate we, we, we love Sydney in eight episodes. I said seasons the first time, but yep. I meant episodes. 
And now we have yeah. two yeah. seasons to fall in love with. And not that it's about just her being with someone. That's not the whole point of the show, but it is an integral plot point. And we have two seasons. Yeah. So. Right. right. And on top of that, it is, uh, you know, they have the same casting director, which I have a lot of faith in her. She cast, I mean, look what she did for the first season of Sanditon, for all of Fulgark, for um, oh. Doubt and Abby. I mean, same casting director. I have a lot of faith that she'll, you know, she'll find yeah. somebody who isn't just like Theo Thomas, but is Theo Thomas. Theo <laughs> James. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. But uh, they will find somebody who is a really good actor. Mm -hmm. I agree. I would like it to be Daniel Sherman. <laughs> I would be I'm, good I'm with sorry, that. But well, see, been in, I'm sorry, I'm I'm terrible because I don't I don't watch live TV. I don't have a TV license, so I stream everything. I have well, he's me too. He, he, he's the lead. He's the lead oh, of yeah. the, in the second and third season of the yes. Ah, right. yes. I will come yes. watch that. Right. He was okay. also in. I mean, these are both American shows, but there's um the originals. He was in that for a little while. Oh yeah. And off of the Vampire Diaries. Oh yeah. He was yeah. in Teen Wolf. Which is where I know him from, but he's great. Yeah. I haven't seen oh, any wow. of those shows. I just know that Diana suggested him in our last live, and I was like, "Oh, hello yeah, there." As soon as she said that, I was like, "Oh, I have to add him to this list because he's perfect." <laughs> well, when when Richard Madden, you know, did the, he was the lead in he was the first Lorenzo in the the yeah. Michis, and when I they must have that must have been a slow renewal on that show because the first. Well, the first uh, series was released in 2016, and the second and third weren't released until 2019 and 20. Oh, wow. But, oh, really? Yeah, there was a gap there. But, you know, and, and they skipped a generation, really. So the Lorenzo, wow, is, is that you, Maureen? No. Oh, somebody dropped something or something. Oh, um, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think we had somebody just come in. Oh, yeah. well, Gina's uh, in now. Gina, yeah. Gina, all right, great. Um, but anyway, when they, so they skipped a generation, and, and so the Lorenzo that's in, that he plays, that Daniel mm -hmm. Sherman plays, is um, the grandson of the Richard Madden character. Ah, and, oh, right, um, I thought you said son. No, grandson. Yeah, grandson. grandson. Oh, yeah, yeah, what a fun episode is. Yeah, when the first series first starts, he's, um, you know, he's very young and immature. And I mean, you know, he feels like he has to take over from his dad, who's kind of is sick. And uh, anyway, um, but he, he go he spans over 20 years in that series, in that two years of that series. Mm -hmm. oh. He's very impressive. So I want to watch it now. That's <laughs> on my list. <laughs> I want to go to the comments real quick. Lauren Corbett or Corbett. I actually thought your name said Lauren Conrad for a minute, and she's from The Walking Dead. I was like, whoa! But um, it's Lauren Corbett. <laughs> um, she said ITV canceled because they wanted their new Down Abbey, and they had Belgravia from the same writer who gave them Down Abbey, so they took a gamble which didn't pay off. I don't know anything yeah, about Belgravia. Belgravia is currently on Britbox in the UK, so I don't know if it's on in uh, the US version. Okay. But it it wasn't. It is so. It's set in Regency, and then about twenty five years later on, it wasn't my favorite. I did actually buy it, um, but it wasn't. It wasn't my favorite. I don't know anything about it. I've seen it, but I haven't like watched it yet. Yeah. Um, what do you think of the music? It reminded me of Doubts and Abbey, the music. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that, but I love the music. That's actually, it's my ringtone yeah. now. <laughs> I say. Yeah. I don't know, just, like, oh, when, maybe it's because I binged watch it so often, so many times in a row. Yeah. But now when I hear it, I'm like, oh, yeah. that's, a, that's a happy sound. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. the, the um, I, I, both Sammy Murray, who did the mm -hmm. dancing, the choreographer, yep. and yep. Ruth Barrett, I've been communicating with them a little bit on um, Instagram, yeah. and yeah. they, they, I both times, I both of them, I congratulated for being, you know, coming back to Sanderson. 
because I have seen that for both of them. And they were really positive and excited and responsive. Oh, that, oh that's great. Yeah. So comments real quick on YouTube. Mary Smith said ITV and PBS favor works by fellows. That's true. Um, and then Gina said in the in our Podbean, she said, we all have to remember this affected the cast and crew as well with Theo James not returning. And that's true. I mean, they did, it did alter everything that they had planned because I mean, even Andrew Davies, when he did an interview and they said, well, if, if Sandy comes back, will there be a Sid that happy ending? And his response was, of course there will. We're not perverse. So, I mean, it was, it was the plan. Gina also said she's all for Dan Sherman. Me too. Me too, sister. Um, if I heard what? I'm sorry. What was that? Dan Sherman as, as oh, the yeah. new interest. Um, she also said, Gina said, um, Julian Sands in season two plays the father to Lorenzo and Giano. Uh, Giliano, Giuliano. So I don't Giuliano. know. What is that for? Um, is that for Medici? That's a brother. Okay. Yeah, for he Medici. plays, oh. he plays, um, Daniel Sand, whatever. Anyway, his brother, he plays the brother to Lorenzo in the, the, um, Medici, Medici. Medici's and he is he, but thank you I couldn't say it um, and he is he also should be on your list Jeanette for what the actor who played Giuliano oh the Medici's okay Bradley Dane. Bradley Dane. Jeanette oh, we're gonna have to do a fourth <laughs> I think we gotta do a fourth uh, Right. <laughs> so, um, we have some good ones coming up already. I think. We do. We have some nice ones. Um, yeah. Spread QI also says that she hopes season two and three are released to the UK, US, and worldwide at the same time. I don't think that's going to be possible. I think it'll probably have the same sort of rotation. It might be in the other countries sooner, though, since it, they've already gotten the first one through. So, other countries that were late in the game to receive it will probably get it sooner. Um, she also said, I can't wait for more music by Ruth Barrett. Absolutely. Amen. Uh, Lauren Corbett said sitting, Ben Barnes or Daniel Sherman. Ben Barnes. I didn't. He might be good. He should be on the I'm, list too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just do lists every, every week until <laughs> Santa Tin 2 premieres. Feel free to comment all of these when you see our thing. Yes. Any more suggestions. I'm all for it. <laughs> okay. Real quick, a note on the group. Now, um, I'm, I'm assuming most of you are, are all of you on here in the Facebook group that we have, or did you come on here through the Twitter account that we put out? Um, I'm a member of bo uh, both Facebook and Twitter. Okay. Me too. Both Twitter. Okay. Um, so we've got two from Twitter, three from Twitter. Okay. So um, if you do not, if you do have a Facebook, I know Sarah said she's not on Facebook, so she heard about it from Twitter. If you do have Facebook, we are the Sanditon Chronicles, Sanditon Family Fan Club. You can look us up. And I usually put that in the post when I put um, posts on the Twitter account. But what we're talking about, for those of you who don't know what lists we're discussing, is we have something going on right now. We're just in our second round where we have a list of eight potential male leads. And we have everyone vote. Every, every day there's a vote for you're voting for your least favorite so that by the end the winner is the most favorite. And after all these are together, we'll have a vote of the ones who are the favorites. So that's what we're talking about. But we do stuff like that. So is there is there something that you guys want to see more of in the group or less of in the group? I know I've been post crazy. We're doing um, appreciation right now for returning, and today is Justin Young Day. So is there is there oh, things yeah. you would rather see? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't keep up. <laughs> I, I'm I'm going to try though. I love all the I love the fact that you've been posting all the links to the YouTube yeah. videos. Yeah. Good. That's really good. Um, we uh, are, today is their last day of regular um, appreciation posts. Tomorrow I am going to do something a little more controversial. <laughs> we are going to do a Theo <laughs> James appreciation post or appreciation day. You just uh, want everybody to respond. <laughs> no, if they're going to respond legally, I don't really want it. But I just, I feel bad because I love Sydney so much. Yeah. Even if he's not coming back, I love yeah. Sydney. And I, I just I think I, it's a good idea. Yeah, I think people should look at the positives of what Theo James did for the character because there's a lot he did positive for that character. Absolutely. And you know what? We'll always have those eight episodes. Those yeah. seven good ones, one devastating one. <laughs> it's well rounded. <laughs> well, only half of it was devastating. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Are you talking about season you're talking about episode eight? Yeah. I mean, I suppose, yeah. Fine, up until 
Edward walks in and destroy and interrupts everything yep. at the ball. Yep. So we have two good yeah, scenes with them. Yeah. And the rest are all bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, now they are. When we first watched there, it, I was not having good yeah, scenes about Theo James. I think what ruined me was when he came up on the horse at the end. I was like, oh, yes, he's going to do it. He's going to leave Eliza. And then he didn't. Man. I know. I thought so, too. I, I and I wish that when he said I don't love her, you know, I wish he would have said, "I love you," <laughs> and so yeah. I just wanted him to say it once to her, just once. Yeah, but he said it. So oh, he did. I know. He definitely declared a lot more to her than she had to him. That's an excellent point. True. So I guess maybe really what I wish was that Charlotte would have said, other than, "Don't say that." <laughs> I wish she would have said something like. I love you too, but we can't. <laughs> I wish you would have still had the same sentiment, but still told her how she felt. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I just want closure on that, and I'm not getting it. So I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to think of ways that I could have closure. <laughs> I guess your closure will be when we get into the next season or so, and yeah, Rose has a new love, Ooh. and they wind up his story, however they wind it up. Yes, I just want to bring up something that Spread QI said. He can say it in a letter before he dies. Or wherever he goes. Well, somebody <laughs> will. Somebody on one of the Facebook uh, sites. I think it was the Sanditon, not Sanditon fans, but Sanditon. Maybe it was Sanditon fans. They wrote a letter, you know, for Sydney. That was really good. It was really well done. You have to. Sh can oh, you share that in the, in the group? Was, oh, I'm sorry. Can you share that in the group? Because I didn't see that. How do I share? I haven't figured that out. It's just like putting on a regular Facebook post on your personal page, but it goes through and we have to approve it. Okay, I'll find it and then do that. Okay. Susan, what it were you really about to good. say? Um, I think it was um, um, one of the fan fiction sites, the main one. Um, I always forget the name of Fan fiction it. Fanfiction.net? Um, no. Archive of Our Own. Yeah, that's the one. Which one? one. Archive of Our Own. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's a, a recent one. Um, um, so well, if you can find it, you can post it then. But I'll look for the one I saw too. So I just want to read the comments real quick. Um, Sarah said she loves Sydney. Theo James is dead, but Sydney Parker is not. I'll still watch Theo James's stuff. He's not dead to me. I think he's a good actor. Um, Marianne yeah. said, so true, Sarah. And then Lauren said, hear that, Sarah. Uh, Spread QI said they won't recast. Um, and Sarah said, we all wish she said, I love you using those words. Um, and then Marianne said, I think Justin will give Sydney justice. I absolutely wholeheartedly agree yep. with that. Yep. I think he will yep. too. I have absolute faith in them. Um, and then yep. Lauren said, she thinks that Justin knows what we want and he'll do Jane Austen last hero justice. I agree. And I think, I think that's part of what was the shock of it all for all of us is that that's not a Jane Austen ending. So it was just really hard to. <laughs> Although, yeah. the thing to think about, too, is that this is a darker work than Jane Austen's ever written. It's a different time period. Paula Byrne brought up that it's the time period of writing is switching. So, it's she's also entering a whole new societal structure. So, it's, I mean, it is a realistic ending. So, I mean, there's that. So, I if anyone on here hasn't listened to the podcast that Maureen did with Paula Byrne, you definitely should listen to it. It's really good. You should look at all the other ones, yeah. too. So, did oh, uh, have you posted the one with Ollie? Nope. He's not our next He's not our next interview that's being put out, either. Oh. <laughs> You're keeping everything secret. I do, yes. <laughs> now, I have to tell you, I did know about yeah. filming season two, about so did my group who runs the group with me, but I knew about it about a month and a half before they announced it. And I had a Ooh, feeling. The, a secret. <laughs> yeah, some, some people let it slip that they were filming season two, but they didn't like the way they said it. I was like, okay, that could go either way. Um, and then um, uh, I, they did tell me that Sydney had or Theo James had moved on from Sanditon. So I did know that ahead of time too. So I don't think I had as, <laughs> so I, I I'm yeah. good at keeping secrets. I'll keep it a secret till the day I release it. So you're telling us that that you didn't have the oxygen knocked out of you quite as much as we did. Not as much, no. There was still hope because he could have moved on for a variety of reasons. I kind of was thinking maybe he just moved on because they haven't made an announcement. I, I did bring it up to Jeanette, though, when I saw it in the rest of our group of, 
Does this mean what I think it means? <laughs> I think we were hopeful, like, well, maybe that means he won't be in season two, but he'll be back yeah. for season three. Yep. Then, you know, we were wrong about that, too. <laughs> we were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we were just hoping, praying. Yeah. We'll let him change his mind if he decides to. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'd like him not to kill him off, just in case. I, I think that would make me sad <laughs> to kill him. Yeah. He's still my favorite character, so I can't. I, yeah. I don't want him to die. You know? No, no. I have to tell you that after he made his announcement, we got like 40 people requesting to get into our Facebook group and they all said their favorite character was Sydney. So, I mean, yeah. people yeah. love him. Yeah. <laughs> he went and look good um, on Twitter on that Friday. So, yeah, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> I had, at a certain point, I just had to get off of social media because yeah. it was just making me so sad. Yeah. Okay, so on a positive note, how yeah. much did you love the way that PBS thanked the sis uh, the sister Sanitan Sisterhood and the fans that was for cool. all their work? Did everybody see that? The sand yes, art. I did. The sand art, yep. That I did. Was yeah. That was so wonderful that they did yeah. it that way. Mm-hmm. It was oh, it yeah. was cool. Yeah. And that was that was a complete testament to what the sisterhood did too. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, so now, so there now, who is it that's on here that's on today that is involved in setting up the Sandicon? It's Marianne, Marianne Stump. Okay. Or Stump. I don't know if I'm pronouncing. Yep, she's commenting. She just okay. said, "I love the sand art." Okay. Um, so I am. Can you tell us any more about what you're planning? I think that might have to be a whole separate thing because I think there's a lot of information for that. Okay, let's do that at another time then. But do you see her name on there and you guys can reach out and you guys can talk about that? Because I think it's I think it's kind of a big deal. So there's a lot a lot there. Well, uh, that's great. There should be. <laughs> <laughs> so are you planning on coming to the UK then next I think it's next March, isn't it? I certainly hope to. Marianne, yeah. is that what it is? Is in March? I think that's what it is. Yeah. And Marianne, is your SantaCon account, is it Twitter or Facebook? Um, so I want to go through the comments real quick. Spread QI said she loves Sydney. It's not like I want him to die. That's true. But he can't be married to Eliza. That's even worse. I agree. That's that's what I was saying. That you know, I, I would hate to see her saddled, him saddled to her. <clears throat> um, and Lauren said that's why the brutal news about should have come on Thursday, not on the Friday. That's true. <laughs> I think it should have, it almost should have been like bad news first, good news second. Cause you can't like lift us up to smash us down. You should have smashed us down and then lifted us up. <laughs> or just scare it out, put it out all at once. I mean, yeah, you could do that, but yeah. I think that one of them would have gotten lost. I think they did it smart. Cause I think one of them would have gotten lost in translation. If we were focused so much on one or the other. <clears throat> oh, Sarah ripple also said she's involved in Santa. Okay, great. Good. Um, Mary Smith on YouTube said they could have dubbed an alternate finish in their vocalization for the last Sydney and Charlotte scene. I think that that probably wouldn't have worked as well. I'm satisfied. I mean, if they were continuing, I would have been totally satisfied. I didn't start thinking about what should have been different until after I found out it was canceled. So <laughs> I think it'll, yeah. I think it is what it is there. Yeah. yeah. But, um, it when they, we're talking about season season two originally, they were talking about like a bit of a, a darker future for a Sanditon, something that was going to happen. I think that's what I remember, um, either reading uh, reading about. Really? Yeah, um, you know, um, maybe Tom would have made the wrong decisions, you know, partnering, mm. partnering, think, partnering up with the wrong people. Uh, that's a that's a definite possibility, <laughs> almost a certainty. Well, let's hope not. Let's hope that doesn't happen after we lose Sydney. I mean, uh, yeah, I think that I think Tom is gonna screw up somehow because they have to get they have to get Charlotte back to Sanditon. Well, also we talked about maybe Mary's brother could come to help. And then, yeah, but then Charlotte would come to be an admin, and then she's going to fall in love with Mary's brother so she can still be part of the Parker family. 
I'm sure they'll have something more interesting than that for, for us, but uh, it works for me right now. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I think it's not going to be, I don't think they're going to, I don't think they're poor enough writers for us to just be able to guess exactly what's going to happen. I think they're going to do something that's going to surprise us and that we're going to love it and that it's it's going to be great is what I think. Um, speaking yeah, of yeah. Chris Marshall's character, what did you guys think of Tom? I think we did, we didn't do a character spotlight on Tom yet on the podcast, but we did do one on Tom and Mary. Right. So hey, what, before you go into that, I just want to say thank you, Sarah, for putting the address on, for Twitter um, for the SantaCon so I can follow it. I just want to say that. Thank you. Okay, said, now welcome. on to Tom. I will. Yeah. I am so glad that we never have to hear ever again Tom yell Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's an upside. The only, the only... The only good thing about Sydney not being there is we haven't got Elizabeth Tom call him. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be calling Arthur. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Maybe now he'll call it out in grief. What if what if what if Ruth Kearney is actually able to come back and she does, and then we just have to hear him yell for Eliza? <laughs> Did I just oh, ruin well. anybody's night with that? <laughs> Spread oh. QI just went nope. <laughs> Sarah said Tom put such high expectations on Sydney and lots of pressure too. I agree. Yeah. Chris Marshall's an unbelievable actor. Absolutely. And what yeah, he put into yeah. that, I can't wait for you guys to see the Ollie Blackburn one where we talked we talked a bit about Chris and his his acting and what he does. What I'm not telling you when that's coming out, but uh, I'm glad for you guys to see it. <laughs> <clears throat> but um but what I love about Tom is that or Chris Marshall how he played it is at first the first time I watched it I'm like, man, this guy is neurotic and he's kind of annoying, but then there's moments where he lets you, Chris Marshall lets you see these glimpses. And all he said, that was all Chris, that he wasn't directed to do those things. And so like, there's the, the one scene in episode three, which actually we're next week, our episode on podcast or our podcast is going to be about the recap of episode three. So if any of you want to talk about that with me, I'm going to recording that today, but um, he is sitting in front of the fireplace staring despondently into it and you, that's the first moment you see that his his neuroticism is all just an act that he's not he's not panicked at all and that's all chris marshall where he just gives a depth to that character so i i started to like him a little more after that yeah well that was uh, uh, just before the idea for the regatta wasn't it yep exactly yeah and Mary Smith on YouTube said that Chris is an amazing physical actor as well. I'm not sure what I've seen him in that's physical. Other than I don't think love actually was really physical, but that's, I haven't, I haven't seen him a lot. That's most of my, uh, that's most of my experience with him. Yeah. A sex obsessed English guy who goes to Wisconsin to have a lot of fun. <laughs> that by the way, is not an accurate depiction of all of Wisconsin. <laughs> Maybe bars in Milwaukee, but not all of it. <laughs> I've not seen that film in years, and the music is so good. Mm -hmm. I used so to watch good. The Walking Dead, so to know that Andrew Lincoln played both of those characters completely blew my mind. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> so, so, so um, Gina wrote on here. There's rumors Chris ha could be on one of the next Doctors. Uh, I assume that's a British show, The do Doctors. The Doctors. Do you know who had a writing role on that? I think that might be a daytime show, and I don't watch daytime TV. Justin, uh, no, it's it's actually oh, a show. Doctor oh. Who is what she says here. Oh, oh Doctor Who. Who! Oh my God, it'd be oh. so good as Doctor Who. Yeah. I love Doctor yeah. Who. Yeah, he would yeah. be good. Though. It's funny yeah. that she says um, the doctors because Justin Young wrote for a show called The Doctors. So I thought that yeah, that's what that's you meant. <laughs> But I, yeah, I have not gotten into Doctor I know a lot of what Doctor Who is, but I haven't really seen much. <laughs> oh, um, you should watch, um, I think it might be on Netflix, uh, the most recent series from like 2005 onwards. Doctor um, Who? Chris, uh, yeah, when they rebooted it, um, it was Christopher Eccleston. Um, it's it's on said, my local PBS channel. Oh, yeah, you've got to watch it. I'm sorry, I'm terrible. I, oh, I'm, you're fine. I watch loads of TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mary Smith well, brought up friends. <laughs> Mary Smith brought up that Chris Marshall is uh, in Death in Paradise. He falls off back in the balcony. I just watched that 
clip yesterday as I was looking for Justin Young things because Justin Young also wrote for um, Death in Paradise. Yeah. So, so just um, Jeanette, if we have more suggestions, I see you're getting off. If yeah. we have more yeah. suggestions for people to include in the voting, um, is, is what's the best way to let you know? Uh, I mean, you can message me directly, or I don't mind if you all even put on like underneath the um, the, oh, the comments. Uh, yeah, I don't mind if I check those comments when I tally up votes. So you can okay. put them right in there if you want to. I'd appreciate it. Sounds great. Thank you so all much right. for doing Bye. that. Bye, lady. Okay. Bye, bye. Yeah. Bye. We've got about 15 more minutes and then I'm going to hop off too because I still have an, I am going to record the next episode of the Sanity Chronicles podcast later tonight. So. Okay. We start well, for next I'll, week. I'll, what's that, Susan? We start for next week. Next yes. Sunday. It'll be for next week. Yep. Yeah. We have our, we are doing the recap of episode three is what's being recorded today for next week. And then um, after that, we have an interview for you with somebody special. Oh, that, that, that's really good. Uh, I've actually enjoyed sort of like watching or listening to the podcast, you know, if I'm working, it's been good. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. It's really fun to make. I enjoy it. Yeah. Um, Spread Q, I said, will you all be joining the Crystal for Sanditon on Wednesday? What is that? What is Crystal for Sanditon? Yeah. Are we supposed to like wear? Oh, I assume it's for Crystal Clark, but I mean, are we supposed to? I know for Rose, it was the color pink. So is it? Like, what are we doing for that? I kind of think it's oh, black and blue. Oh, black and blue. I can do that. I'm an event planner, so I have a wedding that's this weekend. So I'm, <laughs> I might be able to do that. I would like to. I like participating in those. I was so thinking. You have a wedding this coming weekend? Yeah, this coming weekend and the weekend after. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, so, it's, yeah, yeah, that's why we're recording tonight for... Um, I usually do it on a Saturday, but we're going to record tonight for the next one. Um, yeah, I could, that's, that's a great idea. We should remind people of that on Facebook that we're doing that. I was thinking at first, the reason I brought that up is because I was thinking, oh, it'd be fun to put on black lipstick, but I don't think the bride would enjoy that. <laughs> if it was a goth wedding, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, she said black is Crystal's favorite color and blue is Georgiana's. That's true. I didn't know about Georgiana's. How do you? How do we know what Georgiana's hair color is? Did Crystal say that somewhere, or was that a writer who put that in there? She Curious said that. something in Twitter, I think, about it, didn't she? And oh. Crystal, I think. Well, and um, oh, they asked Crystal on Twitter because because I when I when she said that I wrote back and said, "Well, I thought that Crystal looked pretty. Crystal slash Georgiana looks really great in purple. I love that purple outfit she had on when." And uh, Otis came. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like to in the blue, too, like. though. <laughs> she looked really good in that blue. Yeah. Really, any yeah. blue. Yeah. Okay, so before we jump off, we got about 10 minutes. Does anybody else have something they want to say about Sanditon or something they want to say about the group or the podcast? Or now's, now's your time. And do you guys like this format of just kind of doing a free for all, talk about whatever? I do. It's the first time I've. Have I done anything right there? Um, sorry, I interrupt all the time at work and Zoom calls. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> we interrupt um, each other all the time. <laughs> um, but it's, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. I wasn't quite sure how to, you know, um, I just saw it was quick and easy. Just press the call button and um, so I like it. I've enjoyed it. Good. I'm glad. Uh, Spread QI yeah. said good practice run. This is actually our second one. We did a live the night we heard of Theo bowing out because we felt like we needed to yeah. talk. We were, how long were we on that Janice? Like almost two hours. <laughs> oh, close to it. Yeah. And, and you can listen to that on YouTube. It's mm -hmm. on the YouTube. It's also on our Podbean channel. channel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Marianne said, right yeah, good. Marianne oh, asked, <laughs> good. I'm glad. Marianne said, is there any hints about the surprise guest? You can ask away, but uh, I'm not giving anything You're up. You're not going to share. Nope. <laughs> I, won't, I won't lie to you, though. I'll tell you that. So um, if I ask you directly a question, you will or will not answer it? I won't answer, but I won't lie. <laughs> 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 Lauren said... <laughs> 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren said, I think we should talk about Sanditon more often. I agree. You know, Janice and I, there was, uh, I think it was Friday before we did our live. Janice and I just had yeah. a Zoom call, just the two of us, because we don't have anybody else to talk about Sanditon with. So we, uh, we just had to talk to each other. <laughs> yes. Marianne, I'm going to tell you, if you ask me direct questions like that, I'm not, I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> she said, is it Chris? I'm not going to lie and I'm not going to answer. Well, we can, maybe you can answer this. Is it, is it a member of the crew? No. Well, that means it must be a member of the cast. Yes. Oh, that's exciting. Ooh. It is. I love that. Uh, is it a male? I'm not giving up that. Is it coming this week? Lauren said, uh, no, this week is a recap. This coming Sunday will be a recap of episode three. So the way our podcast run is we start off the, you'll know when we start over because we Mary, wait, Mary says said I'm next door, Minnesota. Oh, as long as you're not a Vikings fan, Mary, we'll get along fine. Um, but the way our podcast works, sorry, I'm a hardcore Packers fan. The way our podcast work is that we start our first round starts with recap. And then we do interview and then we do a character spotlight and then we do a character relationship. Then we start all over every eight episodes. We will do a live unless you guys want to do this more often. I can make it happen that we do these lives more often. That's that's more up to the listeners of the show, but that is our basic format. So we do, it's like four rounds and then we start over four rounds. And we start up. So every, after every recap, there will be an interview. Now, my problem coming up is that because they're going to start recording soon, I don't think I will be able to get many more interviews until after they're done recording. So if any of you want to be interviewed or talk about the show or what you're doing, Marianne, it's something we could do with you too. Um, that I, I would love to do that. So just think about if you guys ever want to be on the podcast or talk about an episode or whatever, you can let us know and we'll, we'll reach out to you. Mary maybe Smith, she's a do, Packers fan. Good job. Maybe you could, maybe you could do one episode of just about SantaCon. That's a possibility, yeah. Uh, Spread QI says that sounds fun. So um, if you watch our podcast, if you go to our Podbean site, or even on YouTube, we have our email in there. And the email is not my personal email. It's one that's set up specifically for this podcast. You can email us there anytime. I check it at least once a day. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have any other questions before we head out? Or anything else you want to say about Sanitan or the actors or anything? <laughs> okay, well, I'm happy to say that. What's that? I'm just happy it's coming back. Me too. Yeah. yeah. That, that is my feeling. Um, Sarah said we can do an episode on SantaCon once info is revealed, hopefully soon. And then um, Sprite UI said I'm so proud of this fandom. Lauren said is the guest a woman? That is not information I'm giving out. <laughs> <laughs> that would narrow it down way too much. Okay, anything else, guys? We've been on for about an hour and a half, so that's that's about where I try to max it out. So anything else you guys want to yeah. say? I think I'm good right now. Yeah, right now. <laughs> and, you know, if you if you have access to our Twitter, you can always reach out to, out to us there. You can private message us there, or you can message us on our Facebook account. If you want more lives, let us know. If we have enough requests for lives, we'll we'll absolutely do more. So, um, that, that's, we try to do it cause I'm a fan of the show and I know you guys are fans. So we try to have it be fan led. So, okay. It's great to talk to and hear from everybody. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Love talking to you guys. I like getting to know you guys better and meeting you. So I will say goodbye and we will see you. Keep your eyes out for the podcast next week. All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye guys. Take You're welcome. Care, Gina. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Hey, you too. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody on YouTube.